How tall is a mountain? This is a simple question that should have a simple answer, but unfortunately, it is much more complicated than you think. For starters, there is no worldwide consensus on the definition of a mountain versus a hill. And in the UK, we have over 30 different classification names for how tall some bit of land is. These include Marlins, Humps, Sims, Tumps, Munros, Murdos, Corbett's, Grahams, Donalds, Hughes, Firths, Hewitts, Nuttalls, Wainwrights, P600s, Burkitts, Singes, Binions, Deweys, Dodds, Hardys, Bridges, Buxton and Lewis, Clems, Fell Rangers and Yeemans. Just to name a few, so you can see how incredibly messy all of this is. Now, you might be thinking, why are there so many different systems in the UK? Well, my friends, the answer lies in the rich history and distinct geographical features of these lands. Let's start in Scotland. We have the famous Munros, named after Sir Hugh Munro. These are the peaks that are over 3,000 feet, or 914 metres in height, split into Munros and Munro tops. Munro tops are also over 3,000 feet, but are lower than the nearby primary mountain. The Munro tops have a prominence of less than 150 metres. Now let's take another more interesting one, a Marlin. The name was coined as an ironic contrast to the designation Munro, which is homophonous with Marlin Munro. A Marlin is a mountain or hill in the British Isles with a prominence of at least 150 metres. Many of the largest hills are Marlins, including Ben Nevis, Scarfield Pike and Snowdon. On the other hand, many large hills, including some Munros, are not Marlins, because they do not meet the prominence criteria. Both fell in the Lake District and 4,000 footers Kieran Gorm and Anik Moore in Scotland. I should probably explain what prominence is now. Prominence, my friends, is the measure of a mountain's independent stature. It's the vertical distance between a peak summit and the lowest contour line encircling it and no higher summit. Essentially, it tells us how much a mountain stands out from its surrounding terrain. Picture this. A majestic peak rising dramatically from the earth, standing tall above its neighbours. That is a mountain with significant prominence. But when a peak is nestled among other high summits, its prominence might be less. So now, back to the age-old question, what is a mountain? The truth is that there is no globally recognised standard for mountain classification. Each country or region tends to have its own criteria based on its unique geography and cultural heritage. But in Great Britain and Ireland, it is usually taken to be any summit with an elevation of at least 2,000 feet or 610 metres. But the UK government legally defines a mountain as land over 600 metres for the purposes of freedom of access. So the answer is either 600 metres or 610 metres, and I'll let you decide for yourself which height you should pick.